We're gonna do a full run through. All cameras should be sunk on this. New details on a deadly shooting in Wilkinsburg. Police arrested three suspects in the murder of 27-year-old Kiana Davis. She was shot while she walked on Layton Road this week. Police say a vehicle pulled up alongside her, and then two men got out, robbed her, and then shot her. Police arrested Kiwan Scott, Dane Taylor, and Leah Whitley. Police say that a mother was targeted and gunned down for her income tax return money. And now three people have been charged for this. Now, last night on 11 at 11, we told you we were going to go through that police paperwork that we got in during the newscast. So here's what we learned for you. Police say that one of Kiana Davis's co-workers at the Dollar General in Wilkinsburg knew that she had just gotten cash from her tax return. She notified a man, this was a co-worker, who police say then carried out the murder in broad daylight on Lakedon Road on Thursday. Police say they looked at surveillance video. It shows the suspect getting out of a car, chasing Davis, and he appears to shoot her, they wrote in that paperwork. They say that the man threw a purse out of the car before it drove away. And we have learned that police have arrested Leah Whitley, who they say worked with Davis. Cajun Scott is also behind bars. Police say he was the driver. And they have also charged Dane Taylor, and police say he pulled the trigger. Good morning, Facebook family and friends. Today is Monday. It's the 26th of February, the year is 2018. All right, so you just read the report about a young woman, a single mother of two young girls who had just left work Thursday afternoon when she was shot and killed in what investigators believe was a robbery planned by one of her co-workers. Welcome to Niggaville, where we kill our co-workers for their tax return checks. Kiana, Kiana, I don't even know. Kiana? Lynette Davis, she was 27 years of age, was walking home about 2.50 p.m., almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, after her shift at Dollar General had ended when she was fatally shot by a man who ambushed her on Lake Laketon Road. L Three people have been arrested. Lia Whitley, 21 of East Hills, Dane J. Taylor, 21, and Kajan Scott, 23, were charged in the slaying late Friday and have been arrested. In court documents, investigators de detailed how Miss Whitley, her co-worker who worked with her, who worked with Miss Davis at Dollar, Dollar General, allegedly conspired with the two men to rob the 27-year of her $3,000 income tax return. I can't believe someone places so little value on someone's life for $3,000. This is what Mrs. Davis' mother said on the phone on Friday. <sighs> I mean, this... This is a very sad situation um, that happens common within the black community in Niggerville. Niggas don't find out you got a check, whether it's a tax return check or you won the lottery or you inherited some money or something that's taking place where you've come into a large sum of money and them niggas will come to rob you and kill you. There was a man here in Georgia who was killed last year. He won $500,000 in a pick four or um, a local lottery here in, in Georgia. They found out that he didn't even have the cash on him. They came, seven or eight people came, kicked in his door and shot and killed him, demanding money. People who he knew. People he grew up with. This woman was robbed, shot, and killed by a co-worker who saw her getting somebody cash to check and brought her this cash or however she got this money. Um... And she set her up to get robbed and shot and killed. I mean, it's just kind of amazing and sad that this is what happened. Um, police findings revealed in a criminal complaint for the suspect that appeared to validate that this is what the woman was did. She, they believe that someone must have seen her daughter with the money or overheard her talking about it. 
She thought someone was likely waiting for her daughter to get off from work. Investigators say Ms. Whitley was working with Ms. Davis at Dollar General Thursday afternoon when Ms. Whitley found out about the money. She sent a text message to Mr. Taylor and they decided to rob Ms. Davis. Mr. Taylor asked Mr. Scott to give him a ride and directed him to the Dollar General store in the 1700 block of Laketon Road. Investigators said surveillance camera video shows the car they were in exit the Dollar General parking lot as Ms. Davis left the store. They followed Ms. Davis a short distance. She was walking before Mr. Taylor told Mr. Scott to pull up in front of her. Mr. Taylor got out of the car holding, wearing a mask and holding a gun in a scuffle between him and Ms. Davis, the complaint said. Ms. Taylor, Mr. Taylor fired one shot that missed Ms. Davis, then he fired a second shot that hit her in the hip, according to the complaint. Okay. Mr. Taylor grabbed Ms. Davis' purse and returned to the car, the complaint said. He grabbed an envelope filled with cash out of the purse and threw the purse out of the car before he and Mr. Scott drove away. First responders found Ms. Davis suffering from a gunshot wound when they arrived at the scene. She was taken to UPMC Pedestrian Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Mr. Scott told police that Mr. Taylor gave him $800, then took the rest to Ms. Whitley. Mr. Ta Taylor and Mr. Detweller said his daughter had plans for the money. Ms. Davis and her two and her daughter, six-year-old Azalea and two-year-old Aaliyah, Aliva, Aaliyah, I don't even know, were prepared to move to North Carolina to be closer to her mother. Ms. Ms. Detweller was Dweller said she was planning to come to Pittsburgh on Saturday to help with her daughter's move to North Carolina. When she got in her news that Ms. Davis had been killed, she came a day early to start making funeral arrangements. This is, y'all, I'm not reading this, and y'all y'all just don't understand. This has disturbed me greatly. I thought I saw this last night, and I said, okay, I have to kind of do a video about this. We have a group of young people who are, who are predators. They're like wolves in our community. They know this woman was working a little small job. They knew she had children. At least the co -work, her co-worker knew this. But they didn't care about her life. Over some small, such a small, minute amount of money. This woman lost her, lost, lost her life over really nothing. In the scheme of things, that little bit of money would have done nothing for them to help resolve any of their problems. In fact, the little amount of money she had was the six, the three to six thousand dollars that she did get from her tax return that she worked for, um, was not really going to significantly change her life either. But he got a kill because she was a resident of Niggerville. She was a resident of Niggerville. If you go look at, I hate to say this, but if you go look at her pictures on her Facebook page, you understand what I'm saying. She was in the midst of living her life amongst a group of wolves, and a lot. I read. I read. I went to her Facebook page. If this, if it's still up, and I'm not trying to blame her for any, in any way at all, because she didn't know any better. She's too young to know she's living in Nickelville. That she should have took that money and been very cautious about the people around surrounding her. See, I've learned this a long time ago. The people that are going to harm you are not going to be complete strangers. They're going to be people who know you, who see you on a daily basis. People that you would not suspect would do anything to you, but they, they're they around you so they know what's going on with you. They know what's in your home. They know what's in your bank account. They know your daily routine. This is So they know all this stuff and they attempt to... Um, those are the people who... It's very rare that strangers will harm you. It's normally your family members and friends or co-workers in this case, somebody who knew her. And she lost her life over absolutely nothing, a very small amount of money. And you just have to wonder, what were they thinking? And that's the whole thing, they were young, stupid. All three of these people were young who did this heinous crime and I don't think they were thinking at all. They didn't think of the consequences. Now they're gonna spend years in prison. This woman's dead now. Her two children are going to be raised without a mother. They're so young. It's just another day in Nigglesville. It's just another day in Nigglesville. This happens every day in Nigglesville, and nobody bats an eye. Nobody says anything. This is the way how we live our lives. I'm lucky. I'm, I'm gonna, I was thinking about this early today. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to be alive because I've been in some situations where I've been robbed, and I've had guns held to my hand. I had to give up my cash, wallet, whatever. 
and luckily the people did not shoot me. I've been robbed several times here in Atlanta. Um, Atlanta is a dangerous city. Any place where you have a lot of poor, poverty-stricken niggas, it's always going to be a bad place. And I don't care what city it's it is in. Someone made the comment that I do I have anything positive to say about black folks. I do have something positive to say about black folks. But right now I'm discussing the negative stuff. I grew up, I, I know black folks. I grew up in around black people. I'm 40, will be 48 in a few weeks. I've been living my life in the black community for 48 years. I can tell you all about niggerville and what they will do to you for nothing, for a little bit of cash. Jealousy, envy, hate. It makes people dangerous. That co-worker was jealous of this girl because she had a, a, a tax return refund and it conspired against her to have her robbed. They thought they were just going to rob her, but the guy didn't shot and killed it. He should never have shot her. He should never have did the robbery. But when you're a nigger, citizen of Niggerville, ain't no telling what might happen to you. Ain't no telling what you may do or may not do. Now, you have a deceased young lady who I, I, I strongly encourage you all to go look at her Facebook page. Just take a look if it's still up. And it just makes you wonder. It just makes you wonder. It's a scary situation when you got people who will kill you and take your life over nothing. So I don't let people ruin my... I, you know, I stopped a long time ago letting people into my life and into my house. And I didn't let... I don't let people in... I don't let people into my life Because I don't trust people. I just don't trust them. I've learned not to trust people because I've I've been I've been harmed by so many people who I know who live in Nickelville. You can't trust them. You just can't. And if you can get out of Nickelville, you need to move. Move someone safe, which is what this one was planning on doing. Was probably but she probably she was planning on moving to North Carolina to get away from where she, the element where she was at. And if you saw that video, if you saw that where she was robbed at them poor, raggedy neighborhoods. And it's just, you know, where was she at? She was in, what city did that take place? In Pittsburgh, but where? I'm trying to think. Let me see. If it tells me what city she was in. Um, it doesn't say the city, but I know it's somewhere in Pennsylvania. Is it Pittsburgh, for your opinion? Uh, this is the Pittsburgh... She's out, is it in, Wilk, Wilkinsburg is where it took place. Wilkinsburg, and they arrested three people who are going to spend the rest of their lives in jail for killing this woman. It just doesn't make any sense. Police took into custody, three people arrested in connection with the shooting death. She was only 27 years of age. Dane Taylor, Kajan Scott, lawyer, Leah Whitley, she was fairly shot. I mean, it's just, what were they thinking? Why shoot her? They were going to rob her. Why, why, why not just rob her and let her live? Why the, why the gunshots? Why the, why the violence then? I don't know. It just makes you wonder about certain things. It makes you wonder about your own safety in certain neighborhoods. It just makes you, it really makes you wonder, why would somebody do something as, as heinous as that? But in Niggerville, they'll do anything to survive, even if that means killing you. He shot that woman for no reason. He killed that girl for no reason. He's robbing her. He could have overpowered her without having to use a weapon against her. He didn't have to shoot her. I can imagine this man... I'm going to post their pictures. That's why I was just looking to see if I could see their pictures. But um, I'm going to post their pictures over there of, um, of the, the, the criminals who did this heinous crime to this poor woman. And it just makes you wonder, why? Why do this? Why? What have they gained?
is, is sad because I thought about this last night. There were a couple of other news reports. This one stood out the worst because of the ages of these these people, the age of the victim, the age of the the people who did this crime. They're all in their early twenties. You just have to wonder. We'll never get an answer as to why they, they, they did this crime for such a little amount of cash. They kind of knew what she had in that purse. Three grand ain't much to split between three people. And you didn't do this robbery. What's the purpose? Did they not know they were not going to get caught? Because they didn't get very far. They were arrested within hours, a day, a day or so of, their, of this woman's death. Did they not realize that they, they didn't ever get away with this? What were they thinking? I guess they weren't thinking. That's how they do it in Niggerville. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on this heinous crime that took place against this young lady. Um, I'm going to post some of the, the pictures of the guys who did it. And um, just let me know your thoughts, what you all think. And um, I'm out of here. Um, you all enjoy your Monday. Today is Monday, the 26th of March in the year is 2018. I'm out. Bye.